the Sanju Sangendo Temple, which is on the eastern edge of Kyoto. Uh, this was built in the 12th century for uh, the retired sovereign uh, Goshirakawa. Now, if you do an internet search for this site, you'll see it's extraordinarily important. The name itself, uh, Sanju Sangendo, means the 33 spaces uh, between uh, the pillars that make up this 120 uh, meter wide uh, structure. The internal iconography is also extremely important. It includes uh, 1,000 1001 armed Kannon Bodhisattva statues. Um, the, the style of architecture and the internal iconography is extraordinarily uh, important and, uh, and unique. What's less well known about this temple is of far greater significance. This building, as extraordinary as it is, was just one part of a much broader temple palace complex that was built for this retired sovereign, Goshirakawa, uh, in the middle of the 12th century. Um, after he, and used by him after he retired from the position of emperor. Now, the significance is partially the location. So he's in the position of emperor. He retires from that position. He leaves the imperial institution. And then what does he do? He physically leaves the capital and builds this temple palace complex. Now, what's inside is equally important. It has a, a, a wide range of Buddhist iconography, but it also includes 28 guardian deities directly from Sanskrit texts. That is to say, they have have strong Hindu influence. Now, the integration of Buddhism and Hinduism isn't terribly unique. It's not even very unusual. But what's remarkable about this place is that it's so overt. It's not really melded. It's really in your face and so obvious. So what does it mean? Well, by giving up the position of emperor, moving outside of the capital, and then building this temple palace complex with Hindu and Buddhist elements, and then from his position of retirement, actually ruling the realm. I think what we see here is a physical embodiment, a physical manifestation of someone deploying, utilizing, leveraging the symbols and ideas of Hindu Buddhist kingship to carve out new kinds of legitimacy. And Sanju Sangendo is a material representation of alternate forms of legitimacy in medieval Japan.